Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the partition string method. And what the partition string method does is it takes an argument, which we consider it a separator. It will look for that argument within the string. Now, if it's located in the string, then the method will return three strings contained in a tuple. The first string will be the first portion of the string. The second string will be the actual argument or the separator. And then the third uh, string will be the remaining portion of the string. That might be all confusing to you, so let's take a look at what I'm talking about. We're going to create a string. It's going to be represented by A. We're going to say master code online, like that. And we'll do A dot partition. partition like that, and we're going to pass in the separator argument of code, like that. All right, so now we got a tuple indicated by the parentheses on the outsides here, and then we got a string, master, and then a white space, all right. And then it returns the argument, code, because it found it within the string, and then it returns the remainder of the string. So this is the partition string method. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happens if we do not locate the um, uh, the separator within the string. So we'll go ahead and say a uh, is equal to, uh, let's do Python 3, like that, and we'll do a dot partition, like that, and we'll say, hey, look for master, all right? Now, if this argument is not found, we get returned three strings still. The whole string that we pass the method on will be returned in the first string, and the two remaining strings will be empty strings, still contained in the tuple. So that's what happens when it does not locate the arg argument. If you have any question questions about the partition string method, please let us know at mastercode.online. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial.